Hey everyone, it's Kelly. How are you? I'm the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. I want to welcome you to the channel and to today's video and to our project. Welcome to my no buy year. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with us. And if you are already a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. 21 was awesome and now moving into 22, I'm excited to be bringing you this no buy year as well as some other things that we have. And so each Friday I plan on posting about the no buy journey and updating you with how we're going and doing check-ins and doing monthly empties if I have any replacements or anything <laughs> that might happen. So each Friday check in and we will join the journey together. I'm excited to be on this journey and bring you along with me. So I thought in this video I would go through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and the rules and any other information and things I'm gonna share with you along the way. So first of all, what am I doing? I'm doing a no buy and I'm doing it for a year. So it's gonna be my no buy year. People do no buys for all different reasons and I have done two videos now on the subject. The first one, how to do a no buy year, which has taken off, it's huge. And the second was, what rules do you follow for a no buy? And in that, I just outlined really briefly some ideas and some tips and tricks that might help you along the way because people have questions. And so ultimately, as I say, it's always up to you, but I just help, thought those two videos would sort of help define any questions that you have. So why am I doing a no buy? Well, like a lot of people, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't have a lot of stuff, but I do have a lot of stuff. And I have stuff in areas that I kind of don't use a lot. And I also don't buy a lot, but I buy little bits. And then all that stuff kind of accumulates. So the why comes from thinking a few different things and the reasons behind that, which I'll go through with you. So the first one is, it's time. I said in 2020, I was going to do this and even helped start a group and we jumped in, yep, cool, we're going well, and then we all know what happens, <laughs> and life just got off track. So then 21 came, and I said, that's it, we're here, let's do it, yes. And our life dramatically changed, and we just went in a different direction. I still wouldn't say that we majorly spent or blew out a budget, but I just did find a few things creeping into the house that I now can see and just feel a bit overwhelmed with. So being 2022, it's time to be a woman of my word and step up and do what I want to do. As I said, I don't feel that I do a lot of shopping for things, but clearly I do <laughs> because there's things around. And I know that there are some areas of life that I hardly buy anything around, but they're also the things that I don't frequently use. And I really want to make sure that I am going through those things and kind of reducing the inventory that I have in the house. The second reason is I'm wanting to simplify my life and declutter it. So to get things down to a manageable level and I'm not spending a lot of time organizing and decluttering. I find that the areas of the house that I kind of simplify or organize as best that I can generally stay that way and only need a minute or two to rearrange whereas other areas of the house I'm forever pulling things out and moving them around. I think one of the biggest things I have is like clothes because I have a lot in some areas and I don't wear everything you know and so I move over things and move them around and then we end up with a big pile of stuff, mountain goats leaping over everything, you know, having a thing to wear. And then when I do run out of something or I don't have something, it's like, oh, so I want to know what I have and where it is. <laughs> The third reason is I want to save money. As I said, I don't feel that I'm a big shopper, but clearly I am because when I ran through some of the credit card statements, I've just got everything under shopping. And I'm not entirely sure where everything is. I do know that last year I did buy a few little bits and pieces here and there to help organize parts of the house, especially the pantry and things like that. So 
those things were important enough to me to buy but of course when you're in the shop to get that one thing usually two or three other things come along and I just want to be more intentional with what I am purchasing and making sure that it is a actual fit and a sort of need for the house for that to help. I also want the opportunity to love and enjoy and use the products and items that we already have in the house. They clearly came in here for a reason and so to be able to use them for their intended purpose is the overall goal. I am now retired from direct selling but after 22 years you accumulate a lot of stuff and so of course I have a whole lot of skincare and makeup that I want to get through as well as some jewellery and some clothing that I've pretty much never worn and so I know people say declutter it but there's some pieces that I just cannot get rid of. So I figured doing this as a YouTube channel, I'd be able to wear and try different looks because I tend to be home a lot. I tend not to be out there. A few different reasons for that. My life, as I said, I'm no longer in the direct selling area. So we don't have any of our training and events and things to attend anymore. And also I'm just not going out as much in general and I'm very busy in the opposite direction with children now so school runs and Zumba and by the time I get home I'm just home and so being here being able to enjoy the products that we already have not worrying about having to go and get or find a thing knowing that we have it here just makes me happy the fourth reason I'm doing a no buy is for this channel. I really wanted to hone back into being frugal and looking at what my purpose was for this channel this year and what I wanted to do. And I felt that this would be best, just having something that I could really hone in on and sort of signal all my energy. Last year was my very first year on YouTube. I absolutely loved it. I learned a lot. I shared a lot. And I did kind of a bit of everything. And looking back, I've now seen what people enjoyed and didn't and all that fun stuff. I don't regret any of it because you don't know till you know. And until you do something, you don't know whether you liked it or not or if other people liked it or not. And everyone's different. As they say, you can't please everyone. But I just felt that last year I was all over the shop trying to pump out content to sort of do what everyone else was doing. But when I look back at some of the channels, I see that they have yeah very clear and defined so moving forward for 22 will be three separate videos Monday Wednesday and Friday Monday will be money Monday or motivation Monday where I'll be doing cash stuffing envelopes and I'm hoping to get a planner soon and so we can do some planning and stuff with that Wednesdays will be grocery hauls what's for dinner and anything around food and saving money and things like that and then Fridays will be no buy and any videos to do with that. So three very clear and defined channels. So let's look at the rules and what I have defined. So this year I have some rules in place that I plan on following and then I guess if we hit any road bumps along the way or go or hadn't thought about that we'll figure it out together. I'll share with you guys and we'll join in the journey. So the basic rules I have to start with is no new skincare, makeup, clothing or homewares. I have enough. I'm not going to buy anything new and that also includes buying anything secondhand. So anything has to be new to this house or new to the collection of things that I already own. I am however allowed to buy replacements if something breaks or I can replenish something if it runs out, especially in the skincare or makeup category. I can also buy something if I need it for my well-being or health. So coming up to winter, I know that I actually do not have any good going out black pants. I have a pair of track pants and that's it. And I cannot wear that out to a dinner. And so I will wait until winter comes. If I need a pair of pants, then I'm probably going to buy a pair of pants. Again, I'll probably hit op shops to buy it, so I'm saving money. But until I hit that situation, I'll deal with it then. The next rule I have is around gifts. My love language is gift giving and receiving. And so I really want to focus in on that this year. So the first one is gift giving. I tend to shop a lot 
and go, oh, such and such would like that, and then I buy and give it to them. And this year, I want to make sure that what I am buying is directly related to a birthday or a celebration, and then also it's going to help fit in with my budget a little bit better as well. The second thing is about receiving gifts. I sometimes am sent products from companies and survey sites to review. So you're absolutely going to receive those. Thank you very much. I enjoy the things that I do get. And then also with that is gift cards. So there's two different areas with that again. So first one is if I was to receive any gift cards for my birthday or again celebration and it has enough time on it that I can save it, then that's probably what I'm going to do and use it to replace something or save up for something that I really, really want. Other gift cards that I receive and rewards from time to time are again directed to some companies and they must be spent within a time period to make sure that you purchase that product and give them the feedback. So for that thing, I probably will go and spend and use it, but again, probably on something that I know I'm going to need to replace eventually within maybe skincare or makeup, and then make sure that goes into my thing. I'll let you guys know if I ever come across anything like that, because I did have that from time to time last year, and I'll share it with you. I actually have a gift card and some cash from my birthday last year that was given to me with the idea it would go towards purchasing a few things that I had my eye on for a really, really long time. So I probably will need to spend those this year to make sure that I don't lose the gift card. And so I'll share that with you guys when that happens. The last rule I have for now is about any tools or accessories I need for work or business, which relates to this YouTube channel and also to teaching Zumba. I have separate accounts for both of these and so they're not going to be anywhere near the household budget, but I'm still going to share with you guys if I do buy anything. I probably explained to you guys that my ring light broke last year, so I really need to replace that. And also just looking at setting up a few different things with Zumba. So we'll see how we go. I think that just about covers everything for the rules and the general overall view of a no buy. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this with me. Firstly, I want to apologize for the lighting and if it has cut in and out, uh, as I mentioned, my ring light broke and haven't got around to replacing it yet. So I am relying on the power of the sun and it is uh, coming and going as well as the birds and all the other traffic and noise that's gone up and down the street. So I'm hoping that there wasn't too much background noise. No doubt I'll watch this back in the editor and go, oh, why is that there? So yeah, but it's time to edit now and upload. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for your support. I'm not going to say I hope we make it, even though I'm thinking it. We're going we're gonna to do it. So join me in the journey, whatever it looks like. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're doing a no by this year or if you're just going to enjoy me watching this turn crazy <laughs> and see where we end up and what we end up doing. It's going to be a laugh. That's why I'm the frugal fun mum. I'm here to entertain you. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Please subscribe if you haven't already because we would love to have you part of our frugal fun family. Don't forget, you can also join us over on Facebook, we have a little chat in there, and you can also join any No Buy Year groups. I'll leave all the links down below. Thank you so much for joining, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!